are some common phrases that are misunderstood on some plumbing jobs. So you've decided to do a little plumbing work on your own, huh? Well, before you get started, it's important that you know the right lingo. In this video, I'm gonna teach you some of the most common phrases used by plumbers so that you can be prepared for anything. Let me get my boy Daniel, and let's get in here and teach you some things. Hey Daniel, come give me a hand. Hey, I'm Daniel B. <coughs> All right, so as you see, I got my buddy Daniel here. Now, Daniel's a new hire, so we're gonna talk about terms that would be used on the job. So, hey, get me that joint out of the truck. The one I rolled? No. The joint of pipe we put in the truck this morning. See, a joint is a section of pipe. Now, it can also be a section that, where a pipe and fitting or two fittings have been joined together and made the joint. No, not the one you rolled. Hey, pass me the dope. I don't do that, boss. <laughs> it's good to know, but I don't mean that. I mean pipe dope. Pipe dope is a sealant, sometimes a lubricant, depends on what you're using it for. But no, I'm glad you don't do that. Give me your shoulder nipples. <laughs> my nipples are on my chest, weirdo. Yeah, um, I know that. The pipe nipples in your hand are shoulder nipples due to the little shoulder of pipe between the threads. See, nipples are a short piece of pipe threaded on both ends. So when you're looking for, it could be shoulder nipple, it could be a three inch nipple, it could be a close nipple, which means literally it's almost completely threaded. It's such a short piece of pipe that you have threads on each end. Cut the valve off. Man saw or saws off. <laughs> Cut off means to turn it off. So just use your hand. Now, I've actually heard of that happening on a job before. Yeah. A plumber tells his apprentice, hey, go cut that valve off, and all of a sudden there's a flood. Well, he grabbed a hacksaw, he grabbed a sawzall, he grabbed something, and went out there and cuts the valve off. Well, when you cut it off, that's a live water line behind it, and it was a big mess. Not what we mean here, Daniel. Did you get penetration? Say what, boss? Did you get through the blockage? If you ever hear somebody out and they're cleaning out a sewer, and they're like, hey, did you get penetration there? You've got a stoppage. Once you get up to it, you're trying to get through it. You're trying to break that through so you can wash everything down. So nothing dirty intended. Did you get penetration through the blockage? Now I get it, now I get it. Daniel, grab my cock. Boss, I don't swing that way. Psh, sorry. The tube of cock. The cock and the cock gun on the floor of the truck. See, cock is what you use around the base of a toilet, shower, tub, anything like that. It can be white, it can be clear, it can be colored to match anything else. But caulk, C-A-U-L-K, caulk, caulk. That's what that is. I didn't say so. Nimwit. What a bastard. Who, me? No, the pipe is five inch. It's a bastard size. It's, it's a weird, it's not a normal size. It's out of the norm. Most pipes are anywhere from three quarter one inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, two inch. Five is a very rarity in there because you go from two to three to four to six. Five is weird, but we do run into it every now and then. Not very often, but that would be a bastard size. Here's one that'll get him. You see that crack? I've never seen crack, boss. Never. Well, good, I'm glad to know you never have. I'm talking about that crack in the porcelain. Okay, crack is it can be a crack like that. It can be, it can be a crack in a piece of pipe. Cracks happen. Come on, Daniel. I'm talking about the one in the porcelain. Now, this next one is one that I actually heard of a fitter and a welder getting fired for on a big industrial project here in town. Can you fill that gap? Whose gap are we talking about? I've seen a few. Exactly. Whose gap are we talking? Talking about the gap in a piece of pipe and a fitting. Oh. For a welder, you want a certain size gap, but sometimes if you've got a really good welder, there's a bigger gap there, they can still fill it. They're like, look, don't worry about it, I've got it. A good fitter can get it close all the time, but every now and then to keep having to work on it, it's nice to go back to that welder and say, hey, can you fill that gap? Unfortunately, if there's a lady standing by that happens to work in that building and she hears it and takes it wrong, 
the fitter and the welder, and possibly even the foreman and superintendent, could all get run off the project. Cancel. Grab the ball cock. What'd you just say? I said, grab the ball cock, the assembly from the truck for the toilet. A ball cock is really what they called an old fill valve. It actually had the float and the ball, and a cock is a valve. So that's what a ball cock is. It's a cock with a valve attached to it to make the water flow in a toilet. At your home, outside, to shut off the gas to your house, you've got a gas cock. It's just part of the terminology in plumbing, pipe fitting, the things that we do. Okay. And then another one, grab the rat tail out of the truck. I hadn't seen any rats in there, boss. The long file, it's got the point on the end, water on the other end, it looks like a rat tail. That's why it's called that. Now, plumbers who bevel their pipe, pipe fitters that, that clean slag or anything like that off of a joint, a rat tail file is something that we use quite often. All right, so some funny plumber names. Now, Daniel, maybe you've heard some of these. So I've heard people called King of the Throne, <laughs> Sewer Surfer, Turd Herder. We get called some weird names. We get called some crazy names. Crack Addict, uh, even though you've never seen my crack. But you know the, the funny thing is, over the years, you get called all kinds of names. If you're a plumber, if you're a fitter, if you're an electrician, we call electrician sparkies. So there's a lot of different names out there. What kind of names have you heard the tradespeople called? Plumbers, electricians, HVAC techs, roofers. So one thing you need to remember is when you get into the trades, whether you're new or whether you're swapping from one trade to another, there's different terminology. The big thing I want you to get out of this is don't be afraid to ask what they mean. If someone tells you to go get a pipe stretcher and you've never heard of one, ask any questions so that you understand and then watch them. Because if they start laughing, maybe you'll realize, well, there is no such thing as a pipe stretcher. Go find the breastplate stretcher, now! How long before he figures it out? Or a square coupling, or sky hooks or anything like that. If something sounds crazy, sounds different, and you don't know what they mean, do me a favor. Don't assume that you understand anything or that you know everything. You don't, and they know this. That's why they're telling you to go get something, and they may be using the right terminology, they may be using it just to see if they can fool you. Anyway, always ask people exactly what they mean. And this goes back to tools also. If you don't know what a sawzall is, you don't know what a cutoff saw is, you don't know whatever tool it is they're asking you about, number one, if you don't know exactly what tool, ask them, describe it to me. What color is it? Where will I find it? But also ask them, say, look, I know you want me to go get this and you want me to cut this, but I've never used this particular thing before. There's unique terminology in everything we do. And what we call one tool, another trade may call a different tool. Make sure that if you're moving from trade to trade or you're just getting in, you do as much research as you can about the tools being used in that trade, that way you can understand it. And the terminology, well, a lot of times it's just stuff that you'll pick up on the job. But whatever you do, don't be afraid to ask and don't assume that you know. If you love this video, you are definitely gonna love the next one. You're good. Should have never gave me the combo to the safe.